In this video, we're going to do some derivatives with the power rule. So for the first one, we have f of x is equal to negative 6 over t cubed. So what we want to do is we want to bring the t cubed to the numerator. So this is equivalent to negative 6 times t to the negative 3. Then when we take our derivative with the power rule, what we do is we take our power negative 3, we bring it down in front of the negative 6, so this will be negative 3 times negative 6, and then we take t to the negative 3 minus 1. So this will be negative 3 times negative 6 is 18, and then t to the negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4, which we can rewrite as 18 over t to the 4. So that's our derivative of negative 6 over t cubed. Okay, the second question, we have g of x is equal to the square root of x times x minus 1. We can simplify this again. So remember, this is just the same thing as x to the 1 half times x minus 1, which means we can multiply this out. So we're going to get x to the 3 halves minus x to the 1 half. Okay, so if we use our power rule, we just use them individually here. So for the first one, we're going to get 3 halves x to the 3 halves minus 1 minus 1 half x to the 1 half minus 1. So this will be equal to 3 times x to the 1 half over 2 minus 1 over 2x to the 1 half. And that will be our derivative. Of course, we can change this to be just the square root of x. If you like that notation better, feel free to do that. Okay, next question. h of x is equal to a over x to the 10 plus b times e to the x. Well, again, we want everything to be in the numerator. So this is just a times x to the 10, x to the negative 10, plus b times e to the x. Let's take our derivatives now. h prime of x. Well, this will be negative 10 times a times x to the negative 10 minus 1, which is negative 11, plus, well, the derivative of e to the x is always e to the x, so this will be plus b times e to the x. Okay, so that's the derivative of h prime of x. Next question, k of x is equal to x to the e plus e to the x minus e to the e. Okay, so the derivative, well, x to the e, e is just a number. So just like the power rule, we take e down, so we now have e times x to the e minus 1. The derivative of e to the x is always e to the x. And then we subtract e to the e, well, the derivative of e to the e, that's just a number, and the derivative of any number is 0. So minus 0, which is the same thing as not putting it there at all. So this is our end result. This is the derivative of kx. Okay, that's four derivatives using the power rule. Uh, I don't know if you can make it more complicated than this. I tried to find the hardest power rule questions I could. Uh, it's not easy because there's no difficult questions to find. But if you have any difficult power rule questions, please put them in the comments below so I can make a video of them and do something a little bit more challenging. So any questions, comment below and I'll answer them the best that I can.